Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Planescape Torment. Um, I have adjusted my sound volume a little bit for this video because I noticed in some of the previous videos I was extremely loud, loud enough to cause distortion on my microphone, so that was kind of bad. Should be better now, I'm hoping, anyways, so we're going to continue on from here. We have just entered the Drowned Nations, which apparently has zombies, so... That's a good something, I guess. Now, where are we at? We are up here. Okay, we're up in the north part of the the thing. Looks like there's a bunch of ghouls and stuff. I don't really think that we have anything to talk to them about. Oops. And we're going to uh, go here first, I think. What is that thing? Holy shit. That thing is monstrous. Also hits really hard, like really hard. But we killed it, and we found what did we found? We found a pipe, some copper, and a blood charm, which we of course we can't pick up because we suck at life. What is this? This is an abyssal pipe. It invokes cloud kill, which is a pretty fantastic spell actually. But we're not going to worry of too much about that just yet. And let's see. Let's quick save. There's a couple ghouls coming to take a look at what we've killed. You guys can eat that if you want. I don't really care. It is too dangerous to rest here, so we are not going to be resting here. I guess we're just going to move on and see what... Oh, there's another one of those things. That was actually not too bad. Alright then. Um, this is a pretty big area and we can explore it. There's nothing really over here worth, uh, Whoa. I mean, we could fight them. They're worth a bunch of experience. There might be something behind them. What do we have for spells? We have magic missile, we have knock, we have an ice knife. Eat magic missile. Alright, that wasn't nearly as bad actually, and it didn't give as much experience. Maybe these are weaker... what are these things called anyways? Ooh, let's not die. That would be bad. I mean, it wouldn't be like devastatingly bad, considering we never actually technically die, but... It wouldn't be ideal. I'm gonna run out of claw charms. It's a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Come on, kill it. That one was a tougher one. Gave us 850 experience, which is pretty good, as did that one. Now, there was a lootable thing here. 300 copper commons, I guess that's not so bad. Kinda worth the fight. Ghouls do not want to enter this area, it is too dangerous for them. Right. But not anymore because we killed the monsters there, so I guess it's pretty safe for them now. All right. We're helping out the undead. Let's go kill another Trachopodic... Trachopodica? That's quite the name. Oh. And we have a level up. It would appear that uh, our fighter mage has gained a level. He is now level 5-5. Five, five. Not too bad. Our main character is nearly up a level to be level 7, and Mort is a long ways away from a level, so we're not going to worry too much about him. We also hit R by accident. I'm so used to R being records from Baldur's Gate that I keep clicking on it when it's actually run. Or not run. Oh, bloody hell. It would appear that we bungled into their Vargoyle trap. Although, there, that one is laying waste to those Vargoyles. Oh, but one of them died. It's kind of sad. No, ghoul, don't die. I didn't mean to get you healed. That was my bad. I could not have known that there was a trap there. 
that. That was an oops. Now, there is one thing that you're going to want to grab over here for sure. It's right there in that body. Can't remember if there's any monsters here. Oh, maybe something on the body is over there on the ground. Yeah, it's a trap, of course. Go guys, go! Kill everything! Is the party AI on? No, it should be on. That was a shit ton of Vargoyles again. Why is there always so many Vargoyles in each group? Damn, there is a lot of them. Alright, we're gonna kite some of them away. these guys take care of the other ones. Yes, go fight the ghoul. That's a great thing. The ghoul just got wiped out. Okay, never mind. I was going to say the ghoul is an unstoppable killing machine, but I would appear to be wrong on that one. I really wish we had a rogue. That one went berserk instead of running away. That's not cool. Alright, we killed all the Vargoyles at great cost to ourselves in terms of hit points. And we want the decanter. That's all we really care about. The decanter is the decanter of endless water, which we needed for the quest. Uh, we have to give it to you, uh, that Glive guy in the Weeping Stone Catacombs to free him from his curse. We're going to use it also to get our fire wizard. I'm not actually going to sure. I'm not sure if we're going to use Ignis, but if we do decide to use Ignis, then we will uh, worry about that later, because we needed the decanter for it. Too dangerous, of course. What do we have for healing things? We have a bandage. That's good enough. We have another clot charm. I guess that's good enough for now. I'm gone. I hear more enemy things, and I think they're down this way. Done. Wow, that's a lot of Vargoas just eating that corpse. Seriously? You walk in, and the first thing you do is get critical hit. I'm gone. All right. I'm gone. All right. All right. Or to continue fighting. This is not the time to be skimpy on your attacks. All my guys are almost dead. Yeah, there's a chest of some potential loot. Uh, Dacon, this is all you. Silver earring, some enchanted... Wow, we really are running out of inventory room. As soon as we get out of here, I'll go sell a bunch of crap. Since we killed the, uh... Well, we didn't necessarily kill the skeleton merchant, but I'm sure he's not super thrilled to help us anymore. All right. Yes, all right. Any more enemies on the way? Yeah, of course. Uh, Mort, you're going to be tanking this one because everyone else is almost dead. Oh, come on. Not cool. This is so risky for that exact reason. That's okay, we can bring him back to life. We have Ray's dead. Oh, he dropped all the crap on the ground. Okay, we're gonna grab that, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna grab this. I don't remember keeping all of the stupid, crappy skulls. Maybe I did by accident. Well, we're not going to anymore. We kept the good skulls, though. These, uh... The Cast Skull, Sogo Skull, Oh Skull of the Silent King. Yeah, that's a good one. These ones, not useful. So, we're gonna get rid of those. 
And our main character level. So let's do that really quickly. Level up. We got plus one intelligence or specialization. More spell memorization and one characteristic point, which is going to go into charisma, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm gone. And our intelligence is now increased permanently, which is excellent as well. I don't trust this not to be a trap anymore. Okay. I'm gone. Um let's head back a little bit. So we can quick save. Mort is again going to be the tank because everyone else is nearly dead. Right. Oh, there's two of them. Slightly unfortunate. No, no, bad. Nobody else died. Alright, that wasn't so bad at all. Cool. Alright, we're gonna search this body. This body has the bronze sphere we were looking for. And some crappy battle axe that we're not worried about. <laughs> Look at our group. Our group is in bad, bad shape. Uh, there's also one more place to go. As you open the gate, a cold wind rushes forth. You begin to shiver as you hear the sound of a voice whispering. Although you cannot make out what it says, in a second it is gone and all is silent. You realize that you have been here before, and you have a strong feeling that your companions must not follow you in. I'm going in alone. Wait out here for me. So we are by ourselves in here. Which kind of sucks because our inventory is full. So let's see what we can do. What is that? Oh, it's that uh, plus two armor class ring. Right. Okay. So let's put that there. Try and clear out some inventory room. That's going to be about it. And unless we get rid of the bronze ring, which we might eventually anyways. Oh, these are the same thing. And so we can put that there. Alright, All right. good enough. Um, let's grab some bandages and some copper commons. I'm There's gone. also another corpse here which has an antler axe. And antler axes are 2 to 7, which isn't particularly good. I'm not even sure if it's worth any money, but I can't remember for the life of me. Um, and then we're going to continue on. I can't go that way. I'm gone. Done. We might get hit by a trap and die immediately. End like this. Do we get to Feels just spawn? Like I've been through a shredder. <laughs> Excellent. We're back to where we need to be now. All right. So we could probably All right. go this Done. way. All right. Nope. All right. All Let's right. go straight down. I don't remember this place very well. I know that it's a tomb. That's about it. Ah, okay. I understand. Okay. What is this? It is a tomb key. Tomb key number one. I'm gone. And a skeleton. Right. Hello, skeleton. A pipe and a silver earring. Okay, we're gonna have to drop some crap on the ground because we are out of room. What am I carrying this charm rifle? What does it do? Fire resistance. Uh, I guess it's okay. What does this do? Nothing. Get rid of it. There we go. Gives us more room. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, don't get smoked by the magic missile. No. All right. So we have key number one. I'm hurt. Jesus. I'm gone. This isn't where I wanted to go. I'm back in this room again. Okay. Well, not super helpful. Maybe I have to go this way. All right. All right. Or not. I don't remember how to do this one. Done. I'm gone. All right. Do I have to die? All right. Go back don't to the other let side. It end like this. Feels like I've been. I'm gone. Would you stop that? I'm gone. Ah, now we're in a different tomb. Okay, I guess we should have to die and come back and forth. Which I'm is gone. odd, but okay. <laughs> I'm gone. Maybe it's a trap we made for ourselves or something. All right, done. 
Nothing right. over here. I'm gone. All right. I'm gonna try and very carefully go on a journey this way. The hell happened? Done. Negative. All right. Don't let it end like this. <laughs> Feels like I've been through a shredder. This is too fun, sort All of. Right. Just getting myself blasted with lightning Done. over and over again. No, oh, I'm in the. No, I'm not in the middle. I thought I was in the middle. Not quite. Stop it. I'm gone. Stop it. Hmm. As much as I loathe throwing out free gold, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting hit with balls. Got it. I'm gone. I'm gonna have to throw out more stuff. Let's take a look. Dirty red sharp. Gone. Did nation's key. I probably don't need that anymore. Oh, what if I do? Damn it, I hate games like this because I never know if I need something or not. And by that I mean I love games like this. What the hell happened? Do I need to die again? Don't and go back to the middle? Like this. Oh. Uh, I'm gone. Let's go the long way around the circle so we don't get smacked by lightning one more time. I'm gone. Ah, perfect. You strain trying to raise the sarcophagus lid, but our efforts are in vain. It appears to be locked firmly in place. There's a lot of writing on the wall. It's gone in all of the corridors, right? I guess so. Hmm. Good, uh, let's see. What's this say? What little life there is in the world is draining out of this hole in my body. The world can burn. The planes can burn. Just give me life. I will destroy this life so badly. Break it. Smash it. And stain it in blood and feces so you cannot live it either. Let all creation burn for I cannot die. I'm going to examine the panel. The panel is crafted in such a way that it can recess into the wall. Push it in. You push the panel and it slides easily into the wall. You hear a click from the sarcophagus behind you. We'll do all of them, though. I just want to see what they all say. The inscription looks like the directions on your back that Mort read to you in the mortuary. I know you can feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of Styx wash, but you need to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that'll shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farad can fill you in on the rest of the chant if he's not in the dead book already. Continue and refresh our memory. Do not lose the journal, or we'll be up in the sticks again, and whatever you do, do not tell anyone who or what happens to you, or they'll put... You want a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you. Read the journal, then find Farad. To your surprise, there's one more line. One that Mort didn't read to you in the mortuary. Don't trust the skull. I'm going to examine it and push it in. So we're not supposed to trust Mort. Right. Interesting. It is extremely important to record your journeys so that you might learn from them. The greater need, however, is that the sources of information you use to uncover this mystery need to be protected when they are found. If key figures, documents, or oracles are somehow removed, either by death or destruction, then you will never know who or what you are, or how you came to be this way. The craftsmanship is exquisite. The panel is inset into the wall with a precision that only master craftsmen could achieve. You think the panel can recess? We'll recess it as well, Done. and move on to the next one. I suspect that we will continue to die and be reborn until we finally get our life right. I do not know what we have to do to bring that about, though, and therein lies the frustration. Is it some sort of karmic cycle? As I gather, some incarnations have committed terrible crimes, but there have also been a number of incarnations where we have labored to do nothing but good. Are these incarnations intended as punishment? I do not know, and that is the only real truth I can offer in these carvings. I do not know. And what point does the I get separated from the we? At what point am I freed of the shackles of the action of these other incarnations? At what point am I allowed to be me without the weight of these past lives? And we'll push the panel in. I have lost lifetimes because of my killer. I cannot deceive him, so I must kill him. I have tried to throw him off the scent. I left false bodies, tailored in such a way to placate him. I roamed the most outer plains, hoping to use distance as a shield. I built this tomb, filled with traps to try and kill the killer. I hid. All I bought was time. The attacks inevitably began again, always with more fury than before. Deceptions are useless. Somehow the killer always knows that I live, and no matter where on the plains I hide, he finds me, eventually. And we're going to push that one in. All right. There is nothing that can be done. Memories are gone, perhaps never to return. With every death, I lose a part of me. 
How can one be immortal and still die? He told me that my mind is weakening with every death. I asked him how that could be, but he could not answer. He was of no use. I butchered him so that no other incarnation would ever benefit from his uselessness. Oh. Somebody died. And we have two more, it looks like. So they said, you have been divided. You are one of many men. You bear many names. Each has left their scars on your flesh. Lost one. Immortal one. Incarnation's end. Man of a thousand deaths. The one doomed to, li or to life. Restless one. One of many. The one whom life holds prisoner. The bringer of shadows. The wounded one. Misery bringer. Yemeth. I grow weary. Push the panel in. I'm gone. And... Fear names. Names have power and identity. Others can use names as weapons. Names are a hook that can be used to track you across the plains. Remain nameless and you shall be safe. I am the nameless one. And that's it. All right. Let's go check the sarcophagus now. The sarcophagus lid moves with ease. The locking mechanism has been undone. I open the sarcophagus to discover a single key lying within. There is no body or nothing of any worth. Updated my journal. Well, now we have four keys. Right. That's a good thing. I guess maybe we have to die one more time. All right. Let's try that. Nope, that wasn't enough to kill me. Let's try that again. I'm hurt. Nope. Right. One more time. There we go. Don't let it end like this. Oh. Uh, feels like I've been strained through someone's bowels. I'm gone. All right. Now do I teleport? No, I'm right. still stuck in this room. Okay, how do I get there? I have all four keys, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Done. I'm gone. Ah, there we go. For some reason, I had no idea where it was. Uh, let's open this thing. We have no room for any of this junk. So let's make room. That's the way out. Alright, let's get rid of bandages or just use them. No, just throw them on the ground. They're only worth a couple hit points. We already have chromatic orb. There's so many pipes now. Another abyssal pipe. What are rags? Rags, I guess, are okay. Tears of Sorrow. We're never going to use it. Let's get rid of that. Um, silver earring. Not particularly useful. Antler axe. Probably isn't worth carrying around, but I just, I'm not sure. Mortuary Sanctum Key. That's probably somewhat useful. The journal is probably useful. Get rid of the charcoal charm. We're never going to use it. Put the junk there. One, two, three. All right. Done. That gives us some inventory room, at least. We'll get the axe. That scroll. And at least some of that. It's a bloody teardrop. Oh, I'm out of spells. Okay, uh, let's learn this axe spell. And... Oh, what's worth carrying around and what isn't? Need bigger inventory room. Let's grab the heart charm. We can throw it with the other heart charms. Let's get the fly charm, because we can throw it with the other fly charms. And then we'll grab the Knot Charm, because I don't know what it does. It invokes strength. Cool. So, garbage, garbage, garbage. Alright, let's get out of here. What's up, guys? It We're ready to go. To me. You, your path is mine. I knew you'd be back, G. Finally realized you needed me, huh? Alright. So that is actually the end of this area. Now we can go back up to the surface, turn in a bunch of quests... And we're good to go. I'm just going to quick save in case my people die on the way up here. I'm not sure if there's any other monsters in there. Don't think there is, but you never know. Also, we need our next character, which I think is coming up soon, which will give us some more inventory room. Although we'll have a bunch once we sell some stuff too, so. All Let's right. go to the sass on the surface. Where is it? The chapel, no. Oh, this is the Dead Nations. We don't want to go exploring too much around here. Done. All right. They're pretty mad at us here. I'm gone. Done. 
Technically, you can stay and fight them forever. You just have to keep going but out and back in. Oh, we need to talk to that dude here. Uh, Glive. He has... We have his endless decanter thing that he wants. So let's save him from an eternity of sitting as a stone face. Have you found the flask of which I spoke? Yes. A note of eagerness creeps across Glive's dead face. You have it? Pour some of its water across my lips and I shall tell you what I promise to tell you. There you go. The clear water spews from... The, the clear water from the flask trickles... Across the stone lips, diluting the filthy flow that spews from the dirty holes. As you wash, the ditch's water slowly dissipates entirely, the dirty taint of it replaced by clear, fresh water. Glive groans in ecstasy. After a moment, he says, Do you wish your answers now or later? Now? Seek out the woman called Namel. She resides in the clerk's quarter, in Upper Sigil. I know not where exactly. Best of luck in your quest, immortal. The voice seems to fade as it speaks to you. Thanks, Glive. Farewell. My journal. We don't really have any more questions for him. Oh, there's more Vargo and Var more Vargoils here. Did we gain a? L oh, we did gain a level. That's right. We should actually. I gotta stop doing that. We should check our spell list. We have knock. We'll grab a strength. We'll grab two axe of torments. What do these do? It summons a mystic giant battle axe. It strikes a specified individual for 1d8 points of damage. In addition, as a final blow, the axe will cause magical effect to occur at random, which will do some extra damage. Hm, cool. It's our only level 3 spell, so we might as well grab it. And we're going to go to the Buried Village. I'm hoping we're not going to run into any enemies. As you can see, our... Damn it. Fuck you, Vargoyles. I just need these people to stay alive. There we go. I guess that was okay. And we're out of here. Oh, one cranium rat, really? Oh, uh, we'll grab the tail. It's worth gold after all. In theory. We've slaughtered a lot of them. Okay. Uh, there was two people we needed to talk to here. Hey. Hey, let me out of here. Done. I can't get back in. Oh dear god. I can't even talk to that guy. Alright. We are stuck. I guess we can try and break the door down. There we go. I'm gone. That made everyone mad though. Alright, maybe we don't come back this way. Although I don't know any other way to get back. Honestly, I really, really don't. All right. Oh wait, let me talk to Barr. You guys know what Farad's wanting, Burke? Yes, show it to me, Burke, and I'll raise the gate, but not until. I'll show it to him. Alright, come on back in. That's a better way of going about things. All right. All right. I mean, breaking open the gate was cool, but it didn't help our situation. We also need to rest desperately. We'll give Uhir his knife back first, though. Uhir squints at you. Found me knife, perchance? Yes, here it is. Uhir takes the knife and holds it lovingly. Ah, oh, you're back. Me lucky knife. Thanks, Cutter. And you, he lectures his knife, shaking it. Don't you go running off again. He slides the blade into its sheath with a I'll smile. Farewell, dude. We're going to go to the seamstress's home. I think we're allowed to rest there. We really need to rest because everybody pretty much is dead. Hi, Marta. I had some questions, Marta. Can I rest here? Yes. She is going to let us rest here. Uh, we're in a little bit better shape, I guess. Good enough. Questions for ya. Mm. I just want to see if we can buy anything.
we've already done all these conversations. I just wanted to see if we can get her to store things. I think by taking her uh, offer, we can't actually buy things from her. So, oh well. Because we took her offer to like just give us all the things that she picked up, which then we can't buy things from her, so that's okay. Uh, let's rest one more time. Alright, now we're feeling pretty good. Our guys have about half life left. We don't have our um, cleric yet, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're getting close to that point. And we're also going to just Gone. hand in the quests in this video as well, even though I know technically we finished the one area, but I want to finish this I'm as gone. well in this video, and then Done. in the next video we'll go into the next part of the Done. game, basically. Hello, Farad. I'm gone. Ah, corpse. Farad turns as you approach, his crutch clacking on the cobbles of the court. He licks his lip and smiles expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? The bronze sphere? Here it is. Farad's eyes gleam as you hand him the bronze sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You, he chuckles. Ah, corpse. Such a gamble you were. You paid off handsomely, you have. He studies his reflection in the sphere and tisks. The years have been cruel to me, I see. I did what you asked, Farad. Now I want some answers. Farad doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Yes, yes, ask your questions. Farad turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions. What do you know about me? Why was I told to seek you out? Farad studies you with a critical eye. Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse. For it could be our ears, so take offense. Farad smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. I'm gonna lie to him. You have my word that I'll stay in my hand, Farad, but I need to know what you know. The truth. Farad's tone softens as if cajoling. Cajoling? Cajoling. The truth was stretched a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke, corpse. In all terrible honesty, I know little about you. He raises a withered finger, yet hear me out. Yes. You're a cutter who plays at being dead as I see. Farad squints at you. Some time ago you came to me. Chileg, you are now, but not. Just strolled right into Illwind Court and said you wanted an audience with me. An audience with you? Aye, an audience. Farad chuckles like a whispering sand. Like I was royalty. He seems amused, but there's an edge to his voice. You know the right things to say you did. Oh yes, you spoke the chant like a governor born and true. And I listened. What did he I want from you? Farad grace a mocking bow, his crutch creaking as he leans against it. Oh, Farad, great collector king, you says. I have come before you to request a boon. A boon, I says, will cut out for a man such of such obvious strength. Go on. Farad wags a crooked finger. And you asked for a strange thing. You said, Lord Farad, I asked for courtesy. Your collectors roam through the hive. They should find my body. I want to get safe. That is all I ask. Farad shrugs. A simple boon? I see, and is that all you know? Before you can speak, you suddenly feel a prickling in your skull. As Farad speaks the word boon, the smell of blood and fear rushes through your nostrils. Farad is hiding something. Something that happened in the past involving you, and it scares him. The boon he granted was no simple matter. So you granted my boon just like that. There's nothing to be gained from it for you. Why did you even agree to it? Farad falls silent. A dead man can keep no promises, and promises to a dead man are easy enough to make, corpse. You're a merchant, Farad, not a Samaritan. There must have been another reason. I. Farad's face suddenly peels back in fury, his skin flushing red. After you'd strung up, after you'd strung up a score of my bloods on the high walls to die, I had enough reason to promise you the plains themselves. Then your butchering self comes to my home, my kip, to demand a boon of me. Farad calms himself, though his face is still flushed. I, I agreed. Truth. I'm sorry about your people, Farad. That wasn't me. But if I can make up the loss to you, I will. Farad tis. No matter. Them bodies served me well enough. The dusties pay the same for fresh debtors as for old. Was that the only reason you agreed to my request? You knew things about me. Things only I knew. You knew I was greedy for something beneath sigil. And you put a name and picture to it. A bronze sphere, you said. I didn't think you would fetch it for me. Yet you did. Or yet did you. Aye, the planes turn in strange ways. And that's all you know? All I know? Nay, but it's all I know about you, corpse. Fine, next question. What did you take off my body after I died? I... He licks his lips. Why, I took nothing, corpse. His face splits into a grin. Then I wasn't the one who found your body. Who did? 
Farad's smile widens, pulling the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. My daughter, the rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family, and my sharpest wit of them all. He licks his dry lips and sighs in mock sadness. Such a cruel tongue on her. Your daughter? Who? My, journal. my darling girl, Anna. She found you, dead as a debtor can be, in a place where most collectors wouldn't go for a mountain of coppers. Could be she plucked something off of you, could be not. He leans in, shaking his head. You have to ask her for such a dad's place to stay. Anna? All right, I'll ask her. Where is she? Where's Anna? Farage shrugs. She's hiding in the shadows here. I expect listening to us to trade the... Looking, listening to us trade the chant. I called for her after you went below. I had to ask her where you were really in the dead book when she found you are not. He chuckles dryly and he takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna, stop mithering in those shadows and come greet our guest. She's here. Apparently, yes. Ah, what now? You turn to see a striking red-haired girl dressed in leather armor. You didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Her right arm is covered with a series of interlocking plates that looks as if they were taken from the skin of some odd creature, and a horn shoulder piece protects her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail that is flicking back and forth as you watch. You're Anna? I met you in the hive outside the mortuary, correct? The girl ignores you and turns to Farad. What's this about, then? I'm not playing the leash pole with this scarred dog, so I'm not get one of the other gullies to do it. Anna, rose of my eye, have I not talked to you to respect the dead? A thin smile worms across Farad's face and he makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Eh, what are you on about? She squints at you. He's not a deader. Oh yes, my mistake. Farad nods and his voice drops dangerously. Yet my darling Anna, that still makes it your mistake. For this one only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. He taps his crutch against the flagstones with a light tap. He woke up, sought me out. Most embarrassing. So? Anna glanced at you and then shrugs. I'm gonna try to do a verse. He shouldn't be playing a deader on the hive while I'm a- Nope, that's not gonna go well. On the hive while I'm about, or he'll wake up in a Dusty's arms, he will. Maybe you could have checked to see if I was alive before dumping me off there. Oh, I. And maybe you should have been more careful, and maybe you wouldn't have been lying face down on the stone still on the alley cobbles like a deader, eh? Maybe I should show- No. Enough of this. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Farad taps his crutch again for emphasis. Take him to the haunted alley. Farad studies Anna for a moment, then grins and turns to you. If you happen to lose my darling Anna on the way to the alley, corpse, you come back and see Farad. I'll guide you. Anna sneers at Farad, then throws a glance at you. Come on, then, and keep your steps quick, Jig. I have a little time to waste on the likes of you. I guess very well. Let's head there now. We don't really have anything else to do here, so... Anna points to the door in front of you. Through there is where you want to be. Alright, let's head on in. So now we have a new character, Anna. And we're actually going to end the video here. This is as good of a place as any. She uses punch daggers. And these ones are 1d4 with nothing special. Which means that maybe we should give her those spectacularly good ones. Considering that they are just way, way better than the one she's currently using. And what else do we got for her? Still skill. Give her that. Uh, she's using earrings. What do those do? Open locks is much better than stealth in my mind, so we'll do that. Enchanted punch daggers. Those are going to be sold. Enchanted battle axe. That's going to be sold. Tomb keys are probably going to be dropped because I don't think I need them anymore. I'm pretty sure anyways. Oh. Um, here you go, you can hold the keys. Anna will be our master of keys. There's a lot of them. Alright. Now, Mort is going to be our skull person. Uh, you can carry that. That's fine. Skull, skull, skull. We have our five unique skulls. Or do we? Where's the last skull? Ah, there it is. Hargrim skull. Forgot about that one. There we go. And we'll sell all those rings and junk. Uh, but I wanted to see her skills before we end the video. So she is a fighter thief level 4-4. So she's a little bit behind our group. 
She's looking a little bit ragged, but, you know, I guess kind of striking. Not super striking. She is part of the Free League, and she is Chaotic Neutral. She has good decks, nah, moderate everything else, and that's pretty much all there is to know about her. Pretty much, anyways. Let's see, what's she got in her inventory? She's got two armor class, she's wearing a vest, which is an armor class 8. That thing I showed you guys, and that appears to be it. Do I have anything to give her aside from... Not really. Okay. Where's that Adder's Kiss spell? I'm gonna grab that as well. Done. Yeah. Where are we exactly? Oh, we're uh, in the Smoldering Corpse Bar area. Alright. That's gonna lead to the Tenement of Thugs. That's where we're gonna be heading next. Um, I'm going to go sell some stuff and go to the tattoo parlor. I'll just show you guys what I buy in the beginning of the next video. So, like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Also, if you guys could let me know if the volume is good now or if it's too quiet or too loud, that would be awesome as well. Thanks. I will see you guys later.